Hi guys, my name is Antonio from Gigabyte. I'm here to introduce to all of you the first three-way SLI water cooling system in the world. Probably you want to know what is inside this suitcase. Uh, let me introduce, this is our water force. This is a special design to carry for lab parties to move your stuff around. Let's open the box together. As you can see, all the spare parts are here for our water force. It's a really nice design, it's easy to carry, it's easy to move around. You can go to your lawn parties, you can do whatever you want with the water force and move around without any problem. Let's take a look what is here inside the suitcase. Our water cooling box, three-way SLI bridge, pipe clamps, BGA jack, our high-end video cards, the first, radi and the first radiator. Let me show you what is here on this side as well. the other set of the video cards and the radiators. Let's open completely the suitcase and, uh, and uh, check one by one all the items. Let me introduce you all the parts of our water force. The first one is our water cooling box. Our water cooling box is pretty awesome. It's made by metal. Inside has three strong fans to take all the heat out. The second one I want to show you is our video cards, high-end video cards, three plus three radiators connected by pipes. Also our CD room box in front with a night logo on the front, our three-way SLI bridge, our pipe clamps to connect the pipes inside the case, and our BGA jack to support the video cards inside the case. Let me introduce step by step how to build the water force. I think it's going to be an easy process for all of you and we're going to do it together. First of all, you need a big case to support our water cooling box. Our water cooling box is going to be placed on the top of the case. Let's see how to do it. Take the water cooling box, you place over the case. To make it stable, the water cooling over the case, we have to place the four pins on the side. It's two in the front and two in the back. It's easy to adjust for different size of cases. There you have a stable water cooling over the case. Once the water cooling box is over the case, the first step is really easy. Open the top cover, open the front cover, and then take out the power cable. Power cable, it's outside from the water cooling box. We pass through the CD room box space here in the case. We need to connect the USB in the motherboard and then our power cable with the Monex. Once the power is on, you can set by BGA, separate temperature, fan speed and pump speed according to your needs. Every water force is coming with three high-end video cards and three radiators. Let me introduce to you what we have here. The first one is our video card. The video card is a high-end video card with a special design for the water force. As you can see, on the front is the water force logo. On the top, our gigabyte logo. Remember, every set is coming with a number. Number one is attached with radiator number one. Let me show you the radiator. The radiator is here as well, radiator number one is attached by the pipes to our video card. As well, we designed something really special. We designed the pipe clamps to support the pipes inside the case, to avoid pipes are messy inside the case. Let me show you how easy it's open the pipe clamps. As you can see here is the push button, and then you open gently and softly. And you attach the pipes. As you can see, it's really easy. Every set of water force is coming with three video cards and three radiators. Every video card is coming with a number here, as you can see it's number one. We're going to install the first video card in the motherboard in the PCI slot, in the bottom PCI slot. Let me show you how to do this. Once we install the video card, we take the radiator and we pass through the CD room. We 
we take set number two of video camera radiator. We take the radiator and we pass it through the CD room box. And finally, set number three, we're going to place in the PCI slot and pass the radiator through the open CD room box. After the three video cards are installed in our motherboard and the radiators are already passed through the CD room box, we're going to place the radiators inside our water cooling box. Remember, we need to start from number three first. We're going to install radiator number three inside the water cooling box and you have to use space number three. It's especially designed for radiator number three. Also, every radiator is coming with a safety lock on the side once you place inside the water cooling box. Let's put the first one. Okay, then you take the pipes you pass it through here on the side. Radiator number two, we're going to insert in our water cooling box and especially design space number two in the middle. Let's do it. And then we take the pipe and the pipe we pass it through here. And the last one, radiator number one, inside our water cooling box. Remember, radiator number three, radiator number two, radiator number one. Number three, number two, number one. After the radiators are set inside our water cooling box, we close the top cover and the front cover. Our CD room box has a really nice logo in the front with the water force and as well we develop a special shape inside of the CD room box. We create this special shape to place the pipes inside. The set pipes number one, the set pipes number two, the set pipes number three and the power cable as well. We need to place inside our case the CD room box and lock on the side. We're going to install the power pin cable in our video cards. We remember start from the bottom and we go for the second one. And then for the card in the top. Okay. Our three-way SLI bridge is coming with the Gigabyte logo. This logo is going to be illuminated once we power on. Let's install the three-way SLI bridge. The last step, I'm going to introduce our BGA jack. Our BGA jack has two special details. The first one, you adjust the pressure according to the size of your case. And the second one, to support the video cards, you have to release here to adjust according to the size. Let's install the BGA jack. First, we're going to support the, the video card on the top. From over here, and then we tie the second one as well and the last one As you can see, build the water force is released. Right now the power is on, the cards are illuminated as well the three-way SLI bridge. On the water cooling box you can see the display panel, then you can adjust the temperature, the speed and the pump speed as well. Next time I'm going to teach you how to do that. Well guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Hasta la vista gamers!